friends welcome to my channel i'm arpita karwa and in this video i'm going to address two very crucial questions which students ask when they begin their preparation for ugc net paper 1 and the two questions are where to start from and how to study these 10 diverse units yes guys there are 10 units which are very diverse in nature that you have to study in order to crack ugc net paper 1 there are units like logical reasoning data interpretation research methodology now there are students who have studied logical reasoning because they've prepared for bank po exam but at the same time they are having no clue about research aptitude or communication on the other hand there are students like me who have studied research aptitude in the graduation but we have no clue about data interpretation people and environment and higher education so how to cater to these 10 diverse units in a limited time and how to prepare efficiently i'm going to address all these questions in this video so if you are a beginner and you're not sure about how to start your preparation or where to start it from then you are at the right place make sure you take a pen and paper and jot down the important points because once i complete this video you will have a very clear and concise strategy to chalk out your preparation for ugc net paper 1 that's my guarantee let me begin by talking about the first question that is where to start from this is a question which troubles a lot of students when they begin their preparation in order to understand the answer of this question let me give you a very simple observation from nature if you have seen a bird when she comes out of that egg she actually has the wings but she doesn't have the confidence that by flapping the wings she can fly so what the mother does the mother takes that bird to the top of the mountain or top of the tree and then pushes that bird now the bird starts dropping and it is really worried about how it can start flying or else it will drop so the bird has no other option but to flap the wings and as soon as he starts flapping the wings she starts coming up and she starts flying and this is how the bird learns how to fly in the similar fashion you don't need to just keep on sitting and thinking how will i fly how will i complete the syllabus no that's not the case you just have to give that first push you just have to take that first move and how will you do that you just have to pick any one unit and start preparing it it's not that you have to start from this unit only then you will be able to clear net you can start with any of the 10 units you have the option you can take the most interesting and easy one for example for me the most easiest would be teaching aptitude i might start from there or if i have the guts i can start with the most toughest one for me it is research aptitude then i can start with the research so it is up to you from which unit you would like to start but rather than thinking contemplating that from where should i start which is the best time when should i start studying should i start studying right now or should i wait for the exam date to come i would rather suggest you to start from this very moment from any of the 10 units pick any unit as per your choice and start preparing how will you prepare i'm going to tell you next now let us suppose that you have started with research aptitude the next question would be how to study now before i answer that question let me tell you how not to study because if you know what not to do you will eventually automatically figure out what to do so the first and foremost thing which you must not do when studying any unit is leisure reading i have seen a lot of students taking a book in their hand and lying down on bed and they start flipping the pages and reading it one by one Have you ever wondered that after one hour of reading like this, will you be able to answer any one question which I ask from those pages you have read? I am pretty sure that you will not be able to answer because you are reading like a novel. We don't read a novel for the sake of learning it. We read it for the sake of entertainment. You are not reading research aptitude for the sake of entertainment. You are reading it because you have to crack an exam. So make sure you don't indulge yourself in leisure reading. Neither you should indulge yourself in excessive highlighting. I have seen a lot of students who would either read on the bed without any pen or highlighter and 
hand and at the same time i've seen students who are going to read on table and are going to highlight each and every line of the book and at the end they will end up highlighting the entire book will that make any sense no so don't indulge into excessive highlighting the third thing which you should never do is that whenever you start reading don't read or prepare from random things like you have 10 books in hand and you're reading something from somewhere and then something from somewhere or you're reading from uh, watching some random videos and trying to figure out the way to do something that is only end up confusing you so make sure you stick to one thing you stick to one book you stick to one course or you stick to one youtube channel don't randomly uh, you know accumulate so much data that it becomes really difficult for you to absorb each and everything so make sure you have a streamlined plan hum sab kuch nahi kar sakte i might like three colors i might like red i might like beige i might like brown i cannot use all the three colors in my room i cannot Uh, paint one wall as red one as beige and one as brown no i have to stick to any one color only then the room is going to look beautiful in the similar fashion stick to any one course any one mentor or any one book and only study from that book it is very important don't try to uh, you know use the books or use the notes of the friend uh, who might say that he was able to understand from that particular notes or don't go by what other people are saying you have to finalize your own strategy by trying and testing what works for you now that you have understood how not to study it is time to understand how to study and in order to tell you how to study i'm going to tell you a formula a time tested formula that will work for each of these units so what is this formula all about let me tell you friends that everything in life works on formula and if you know the formula you apply it well then success is all yours be it telephone be it gravity be it any electronic gadget that you have in hand everything works on a formula and you just need to master this formula in order to master that device so if you want to master any of the 10 units of paper 1 then you must know the learning formula my mentor told me way back and since then i have been a gold medalist i have cracked net in one attempt and it was all because of this formula that i always apply whenever i sit down to study and learn so let us look at this formula and let us try to decode how you can use it in your practical life to understand and memorize each and every topic of these 10 units of ugc net paper 1 The learning formula consists of four components: understand, learn, repeat, and practice. Now, what is understand? Understand simply means समझना. So, आपको कभी भी कोई भी चीज अगर याद करनी है, तो उससे पहले आपको समझना होगा. Let us say that you are learning research aptitudes topic variables. Now, you need to first understand what is variable and why do we study variable in research? What is the use of variables in research? this is the understanding component only after understanding you will be able to learn it once you have understood what is variable then you will be able to learn the different types of variable and you need to learn the definitions because that is what is going to be asked in net exam so you must know what is confounding variable what is independent variable understanding is not enough aapne samajh to liya lekin agar aapko yaad nahi hai aur mcq mein aa jata hai to aap kya aise likhenge nahi aapko exact terms yaad hone chahiye aapko pata hai confounding variable kya hota hai lekin agar aapko confounding variable ka naam yaad nahi hai aur definition aa jati hai so you might wonder that इनमें से कौन सा था कंफाउंडिंग वेरिएबल सो देर इज वेन लर्निंग इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग वंस यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अ कॉन्सेप्ट देन यू हैव टू लर्न इट लर्न मीन्स टू मेमोराइज इट उसको पढ़ना उसको याद करना कि आप जब बुक बंद करें सो यू विल बी एबल टू रिकॉल इट एंड द थर्ड स्टेप इन द प्रोसेस इज रिपीट रिविजन इज द की आपने एक बार याद किया दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टे इन योर मेमोरी यू मस्ट रिपीट इट एटलीस्ट वंस और ट्वाइस हर हफ्ते में एक बार उस वापस से पोर्शन को पढ़िए जस्ट चेक वेदर इट इज स्टिल देयर इन योर मेमोरी और नॉट यू माइट लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड बट इफ यू डोंट रिवाइज इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू स्टे इन योर मेमोरी एंड द लास्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इज 
practice once you have learned the theory you have understood the theory you have to test whether you will be able to mark the mcqs correctly or not it's just like i've read a book on swimming but if i don't jump into the water and swim will i be able to see whether i know swimming or not if i want to call myself a swimmer i must know how to swim in the water i cannot read 10 books and call myself a swimmer just like that practice is the key jo bhi theory aapne yaad kari hai aap use practice kariye aapne book mein se 10 pages pad liye but kya un 10 pages mein se agar koi question aata hai aap use solve kar payenge ye test karne ke liye practice is important so if you go step by step and use these four components effectively i can tell you in advance that each and every concept that you study is going to stay in your brain and you will be able to attempt the questions correctly if you go by this method so the first step is understand second is to learn third is to repeat and finally we have practice so make sure you don't skip any component of this formula because if this formula is applied as it is only then it is going to give you the best results in order to make your ugc net paper 1 preparation extremely easy we have come up with separate video courses for each of the 10 units so you can start with research aptitude you can enroll in our course you can watch our lectures which are animated by the way we are the first and the only institute in india who are teaching entire ugc net paper 1 in animated and graphic based videos so make sure you avail this a uh, course so that everything that you are studying is going to stick in your memory visuals play a very important role in life guys whenever we watch a movie we don't forget it why because it is on screen so whenever we see something on screen we see the visuals it is going to have a very very strong imprint on the brain so make sure that you enroll in our course and after you enroll in the course you are going to get a series of video lectures on every topic where we cover each and every important topic of that particular unit once you have watched our videos you have um, jot down the important pointers you just have to learn that's it the understanding part is been taken care by us with most precision we have ensured that any concept that we are teaching in the video lectures you don't need to refer to any other guide book any other reference material for the same we also give you handy pdf so that you don't even have to make notes you just need to refer to the notes that we are giving you before the exam and for your practice of course we have more than 2000 questions lined up for you all these questions are practice based and they kind of imitate the actual exam pattern so that you will get that exam feel right there sitting at your home our effort is to give you a crystal clear course for each unit so that the preparation for ugc net paper 1 becomes a cake walk for you so i hope that this video helped you to understand how to prepare where to start from and how to streamline your preparation make sure you use the formula to study ugc net paper 1 and i'm pretty sure that success will be yours so that's it for this video lecture if you have any other doubts any other questions don't forget to put that in the comment section below or you can even call us on the number displayed there you can follow us on the social media platforms to get the latest information about ugc net examination you can also download our app Uh, which is there on play store for ugc net paper 1 preparation this app is going to help you prepare for paper 1 in a very very simple manner even if you devote 1 hour every day within a week it's our challenge that you will be able to complete one unit of paper 1 which is a great deal by the way because the exams are really far and you have enough time so just devote 1 hour every day and you will be sorted for paper 1 So that's it for this video lecture we'll meet soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com